Yo, people of YouTube, what's going on? Peter Kell here. Uh, it's dark outside, got really bored, so I thought I'd dig through my chest of stuff and pull out some hangers that I got and just tell you guys about some uh, cast. And, you know, I got two sets of uh, precision hangers here and just talk to you about, you know, just trucks. Here we go. All right, so over the years, I've been skating on a lot of trucks. You know, I used to work at SoCal Skate Shop. You know, all I did was work full time and use my money to buy skate gear there. So, you know, I got kind of obsessed. So I started just buying stuff, you know. I got to that point where I had a board for everything, you know. I had just a board for every single dis discipline of longboarding. And, you know, it was really cool. So with that came a lot of trucks. So, uh, let me think. The first trucks that I ever got on a longboard when I first started was an Evo on Seismic Trucks. I didn't know anything about trucks. I just looked at these trucks and I was like, these got springs. These are fucking rad. So I just went ahead and picked them up. And you know what? They sucked. I returned them two weeks later. And right after that, I think I got some Randalls. I don't have any of those with me right now. I think I sold those a long time ago. But I went to Randall 42s, you know. Just got into the whole bombing stage. Just wanted to bomb some hills, you know, have a good time. You know? And after that, I went all over the place. But let me talk about some of the trucks I really like. Uh... Paris trucks. These are some of my most favorite trucks that I've ever tried, you know. Not really. Look how bent these are. These are incredibly bent. I think most of the trucks here are going to be really bent. So that's going to be really cool. Actually, you know what? Let me grab some wheels so that I can uh, do the bend test on these wheels. On these trucks. Sorry, hold on. All right, everybody calm down. I got my wheels. There's some ABEC 11, you know, zigzags. I got built in bearings. That'll work great for the bend test. All right, where were we? Oh yeah, Paris trucks. All right, Paris trucks are really cool for me. You know, when you're going under like 30 miles an hour, like free ride, these things are boss, dude. Just carving. I remember a long time ago I had a Dervish. I set these on there. You know, they're super fun trucks. I really like Paris trucks when you're going, you know, kind of slow. I never really liked them when you're going too fast. I really never tried it going too fast, but... To me, these are just like prime carving around, going fat, like just cruising trucks, you know. Uh, let's see, next on our list, ooh, the Sabre trucks. These are really cool. These, I think, are 190, and they have a 45-degree base plate. So Sabre trucks are actually the first, not really the first trucks, but they kind of were the, one of the beginning ones that started doing cast trucks with different angles that weren't 42 and 50. You know, that seemed to be like the only thing you can get. So... Maybe some Randall DHs, you know, 35 degrees. But these are really cool. You know, the problem with these was that they they actually bent pretty quickly. Oh, I didn't ride them that long, and they got kind of bent. See how it just, like, snaps there and then does that thing? Yeah, that means they're bent. You know, trucks where they kind of, they don't snap into place, and they kind of just, like, wiggle around. They're not that bent. So, I don't know. Lighter trucks, they're kind of thin. They're sleek. They're all stealthy looking. They're pretty cool. So these actually ride kind of good. I liked them when I rode them, you know. I don't know where I went after that, but next on the list is gunmetal. You know, everyone knew when gunmetals came out, they had that reputation to be all, you know, bendy. They called them bend metals. The same thing with calibers, calipents. You know, everyone just had their little thing. It was mostly little Grom kids that made up these crazy little names. But, you know, I don't know. Gunmetals are really good. The 2.0s really stepped it up. I think I actually got a set of 2.0s right here. Oh, yeah, you know what happened? I was writing these down on the Toyland trip. And there's going to be a sweet ABEC video coming out from Toyland. So I was riding these off the Toyland trip, and I threw my board off a cliff. And I bent them. So, you know, that's what happens when you throw your board off a cliff. But check it out. If you look at the old gunmetal hangers, the bushing seat is really deep and really restrictive. So that's why a lot of people didn't like it. They're more meant for downhill. But when they came out with these new 2.0s, they really fixed the bushing seat. It's a lot nicer, you know. They got that stamp on the kingpin, and they got the cool little 2.0 thing right there going on. So, I'm just going to see how bent these are. Oh, you know, it's not super bent. It's not as bent as some of the other trucks I have. Like, the Paris trucks just snapped like that. But Paris trucks are really strong, and you're not going to worry about bent trucks. Something's beeping. All right, moving along. Here we go. Check these out. I don't have any calibers with me. I never really bought them. Never tried them. You know, gunmetal caliber, kind of the same thing. I mean, I didn't really think it was that big of a difference. At least not a big a difference that it really you'd really feel like it's a huge difference. You know, gunmetals are sweet. Calibers are sweet. Pick and choose. Those are going to be your downhill 
50 degree trucks, you know, gun middle's got 42 and 46, and caliber's got 44. So just pick whatever you want in between. You know, it's going to be the same truck, different wheelbase. Or not, different wheel, different, uh, you know what I'm saying. All right, moving along. Check these guys out. These guys are actually some of the newer trucks. A lot of guys don't know about them. They are the new Gullwing trucks that are made by Andrew Mercado ever since he took over Gullwing over at Sector 9. These trucks are rad. There's a lot of guys shredding these. I think these are called the Charger 2s, I think. Don't quote me on it. But there's a lot of guys shredding these, like Jimmy Rhea, all the Gullwing guys. You know, of course, they're going to be skating them. But I tried these trucks, and I really like them. You know, they got a nice bushing seat. It's not too fancy. It's like an old school, just simple look. And I just think it's sweet, you know. You guys should check them out. I really like these trucks a lot. You know, I've only skated them for not long, and these are the least bent trucks I have at the moment. All right. So, yeah, check these out. I think they just come in a 50. I don't know. I haven't done my research about them. I don't know too much about them. I just know that I like them. That's all I care about. And plus, the cool thing about these is that going actually comes with what I think are the best bushings the best stock bushings on most any truck that's not precision. You know, I haven't really tried. Well, Venom, Venoms come with uh, gum metals, and the Blood Oranges come with calibers, so those are really cool. But I like these a lot. They're kind of higher rebound, and they just feel really nice. They're super good. That's actually what I set up on the Wholesome board over there, were some of those blue Gullwing 98 bushings. So those are dope. All right, all right. Let's get into what everyone loves to talk about. Precision trucks. You know, I went through my phase where I didn't know anything. I was just into the hype where, oh, these trucks are rad. Oh, I got to try them. Oh, freaking out, you know, giving myself a heart attack. So, you know, I tried a bunch of trucks. First set of trucks I tried were the Smokies on the Evo. You know, you had to try them if you were an Evo fan. That's me. Three and a half years ago, I was an Evo fan, you know. So those were shit, you know. <laughs> the 2008 Evos, they had the spherical bearing and the spherical like pivot cup, you know, super twitchy for me. Probably I wasn't that good anyway. Maybe I had a crappy bushing setup. I don't remember. I just hated them. Everyone I talked to hated them. Don't get trucks with spherical anything that's retarded. Just get normal stuff. Bushing works, bushings work fine. Uh, move along. Don't get the Smokies. You know, but don't hit. Actually, the new Bear trucks are really good. The Era copies, those are dope. All right, let's see. Went from Smokies. Change to monkeys. I remember I got some blue 190 42 degree monkeys, and those were so dope. I loved those trucks. I rode them on, you know, I rode them on a Roger Brothers A Sim, I rode them on a Voodoo doll, and those things were just sick. And I had a blast, you know, I'd be Tuna Canyon, Malibu, all these sick roads, Laguna, just so fun, just such a stable setup. You know, I rocked super high rebound bushings just because I could, and it was stable, and it just was. Really nice, but then, you know, came that time where I wanted to start free riding. You know, everyone's starting to free ride. Back when I used to skate with, you know, strictly downhill guys like Everett Ozan, you know, just always wants to bomb hills and do six slides. That's when those were really good. But now that everyone wants to free ride, I had to like, well, I didn't have to. I was just kind of a girl, and I was like, 42 degree, 190, I can't free ride. Ah. So, you know, I decided to switch over, sell them, and, you know, get some heiress. So, I remember, let's see, I got the one, I think it might be off with the numbers, but I got the 46 degree 186, I think those are, 186, 46, I think that's what it is. So those are the Eras, and I got the 7 Series, and those are freaking rad, you know, Eras, everyone loves the Eras, I loved the Eras, you know, I did everything except, you know, early grab, because I never wanted to bend my trucks. So that was one thing I just didn't do, and everyone hates on me because I don't literally grab, but whatever. So moving along. Just recently, maybe like a few months ago, I got broke. I had to sell them, fix my car. Stupid. So, you know, I just saved up my more money, and, you know, instead of buying the same trucks, why don't you try something new? So I went ahead and bought the Gullwing trucks from SoCal. These are really cool. They're like 330. The Gullwing Monkeys. I think the wing monkeys, they're really cool. You know, I love them. They feel really nice. They have a great bushing seat. You know, it's kind of restrictive, but it's kind of, it's really open too at the same time. So I can do all my free riding. Like, you know, you free ride from like 10 miles an hour to 30 and then bomb going like 55 without doing anything to my trucks, you know. So it's really nice to have something like that. Let's try the bend test. Look at it. Look at it. 
Nothing. That's how trucks are supposed to be. That's why I like precisions, because they don't bend unless you do early grabs. Don't do early grabs, and don't throw your boards off cliffs, because that's what's going to bend your trucks. All right. All right. So lastly, let me tell you guys a story. When I finished high school, I wanted to do this thing a long time ago. It was really retarded. I'm sure you guys have seen the video, but I wanted to do the thing where I'm holding on to the back of the car, and I want to be the first guy ever to go 100 miles an hour, you know? So... I got some 42 degree Randalls. I loaded that crap up with washers. And, you know, I held on to the back of a car going 95. It's on YouTube and everyone hates it. And I hate it too. And I don't even act like I ever did it because it's retarded. So I knew one day I wanted to go. And, you know, the reason why I went 95 was so that one day I could break 100 and not do it so gay. I didn't want the first person to ever go 100 miles an hour on a skateboard. Doing it on an Evo in a snowboarding helmet with a leather jacket. Just like, Woo! Holding on to the back of a truck and never letting go. So, me and Everett Ozan, a lot of people don't know this because we didn't film it because we didn't have any cameras, went back on the toll road two years ago, year and a half ago, hooked up two wakeboard lines on the back of a car, maybe like 20 feet out, and we were going to go 100 miles an hour and let go, holding onto the back of a wakeboard rope. The reason why I'm on a wakeboard rope is so I'm getting hit by the wind the whole time. The last thing you want to do is, you know not get hit by the it's not get hit, be behind the truck let go and then get hit by 100 miles an hour of air and you'll just go flying off your board and that's horrible you know so this is what we did a long time ago and i got these trucks just for it don't know why they're called kookies they're 200 millimeters long and they're 42 degrees so they're just retardedly stable no one's ever gonna get wobbles on them and that's what i wanted to do the thing on just because better safe than sorry you know i'd rather ride on bushings than washers like i did last time but Let's see, finishing up that story. You know what? I'm going to make another video about it. Don't even worry about it. All right. Thanks for watching the video on trucks. If you see me saying this, I can't believe you sat through this whole video. Congratulations. Uh, let me know any more videos you guys want to do. Maybe I'll do one about my slalom board over there. Show you guys like a, what a slalom setup looks like. So, yep. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Leave me some comments so I can talk to you people. Some guy posted a comment about this today, and I think I was really bored. I just finished all my homework, so I thought I'd do a video about it. So, you know, I read that stuff. I got, like, what, five subscribers, so, yeah, hit me up. Peace.